Hello, viewers. Welcome back to my channel, Be That So With Envy. My name is Cynthia Folabi. In today's video, I want to show a special appreciation to my viewers, subscriber, friends, and well wisher for the overwhelming love they show me. One of my video that um, I uploaded a few months ago that titled "How to Measure Cut and Sew Iru and Buba Tip and Tricks." I'm going to put the description. Um, I'm going to put the link in the comment box below so that you can go and check out the video so in today's video i'm going to show i'm going to show you how to measure cut and sew buba because buba has come to stay whether you are a traditional person or you are not if you know how to measure cut and sew buba you can use that style to sew many ties like this one you are seeing on my mannequin in the background is the buba concept that i used to cut it even the abada that you see people wearing they use buba concept to cut it so there are so many things you can apply the knowledge of how uh, if you know how to measure cut and sew buba so today i'm going to show you how to go about the measurement what are the things you need and how do you measure buba? So I'm going to use one of my clips. You see, do you want to say hi to my viewers? Hi. Okay, so let's go there. So the measurements you need for buba, the major one is the most biggest part of your upper part of your body and that is the hip. So you need the hip measurement. So for this, my client, her hip is around 38, 39, but I'm going to add two inches, making 40. So 40 divided by four, making 10. So her divided body measurement is 10. So you need her body measurement. How do you go about the armhole? The armhole depends on the, what the individual client wants. Some client want it to be tight, some want it to be fitted. So conventionally, the armhole bo for buba is uh, you just add like um, you just add like uh, one inches to one point five to it. So, but in today's tutorial, the armhole I want to use, I want to use the armhole of uh, like nine inches. So I'm going to add one point five to it, making uh, ten point five. So then. Apart from the armhole, what is the third measurement you need in your measuring and cutting of buba? You need your sleeve measurement. How do you determine your sleeve measurement? So you are going to start the measurement by starting from the middle of the neck. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, better. So you start the measurement from the middle of the neck this way you measure to the shoulder blade down to the desired length of the um the sleeve that is another measurement you need and this measurement how are you going to use it to cut out the actual amount of sleeve length you need so let me show you this so now to cut the sleeve length, this is the measurement we have. Let's assume that the measurement is 23. Now this is the 23 we measure. This is the middle of the neck to the desired sleeve length. So now for you to get the actual sleeve that you want to cut, which is this, you have to take, you have to remove the measurement from here to here from the total measurement you got so from measurement from here to here is your divided body circumference measurement that is your hip measurement in her case her hip measurement we added uh, two inches making 40 so uh, 40 divided by four we have 10 so this is 10 we are going to remove 10 that is her divided body measurement from the measurement we got from from the middle of her neck 
down to her shoulder blade down to her desired sleeve length so we are going to remove this body circumference from that measurement to get the actual sleeve length we are going to cut out for the booba so i hope it's clear so that is the way i can explain it then another measurement you need is the length of the booba some want their booba to be a uh, crop crop top and it to be short so want it to be long so want to to any length you want it so how do you measure it so when you get the length like for example this is the um, let's move back a little bit so that uh, i can show the length so so you measure from her shoulder blade down to where she desire her length to be so according to her she said her length is 24. so this 24 now you times it by two if you tie 24 by 2 that is 48 so you are going to measure 48 long 48 long then you are going to fold it into two that is now will make you to get 24. don't forget your sewing allowance you have to add your hemming allowance that you use and fold it to the down part so you add your allowance accordingly some are two inches some are one inch some are half inches depends on what you want so remember your to add the allowance accordingly so when you are measuring and you are testing this length of a buba measurement you remember that the 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 center of the fold will be folded it will not be cut that is where the neckline is going to be so you are going to fold it into two and that will be that is where you now measure your body circumference before you measure the sleeve so these three measurements is very very important that is the hip the armhole and the sleeve length so it's very important in uh how to cut and so so let's go to the working table to put all this thing into practical yes yeah, so um now i'm going to assume that this is the ankara we want to use for the hero and bar because uh, i discovered that uh, the mark on the fabric i'm using is not visible enough for you to see so this is what i'm saying you measure her length was uh, 48 24 divided by times 2 i mean to say so you measure 48 inches 48 inches remember to add your sewing allowance so 48 inches top here so you take that 48 inches you fold it into two this way the 48 stop you fold it into two this way so after folding it into two then let me take this aside first so after folding into two further you fold it into two again this way you fold it into two again this way so this is the body circumference of the buba folded so i'm not going to cut it i'm just going to show you how i'm going to measure um, the buba so now i'm going to so this is the folded body circumference that was the hip measurement we got from her so her hip was 40 40 stop here so you are going to add the sewing allowance maybe one inches or so depends on what you want so you add your allowance accordingly so since i'm not going to cut it i'm not going to bother about the inches added so i just mark my my 10 inches and i'm not going to add any allowance since i'm not going to cut i'm 
just going to roll it down straight straight down this way so this is 10 inches that is the 40 for hip measurement divided by 4 making 10 so i'm not going to take the shoulder measurement or waist measurement or under bust or shoulder is your hip divided hip measurement that will serve your body from your shoulder blade down to the desired length of the yoga so the only thing you need to note on this body circumference is your neck your neck width and your neck depth the neck width is a three and a half and the neck depth is three inches so since i'm not cutting it so you cough it or you use your cough ruler if you can't use your hand there's no need to shoulder slant or to do any manipulation on the shoulder the shoulder side is closed it's unfold so after that the next thing you need to note is the armhole where you want your armhole to be so you are going to measure your armhole as i said it's 10 so the armhole is here so after cutting you are now going to cut the neck cut it straight and cut it out then you are going to notch where your armhole is going to end you are going to give it a notch you are going to notch here that is the neck the, the neck and the the neck uh, the neck from the shoulder you are going to notch it and you are going to notch the center from center back so those are the uh, three notches you are going to give so that when you want to freeze your sleeve you get uh, you know where to start and where to stop fixing your sleeve so now i'm going to show you how to cut the sleeve so this is the ray material i want to use i've transferred the measurement here and i've notched where my armhole is going to stop from the shoulder blade down to here i've marked it i've notched here i've notched here so that i'll be able to um, locate the center and uh, I'll also determine the length that I'm going to make. Now I want to show you how I'm going to cut the sleeve. So the sleeve that I got, I've removed the divided body measurement from this, from the measurement I took from the middle of the neck down to the blade to the desired length of the sleeve, and I've removed the body, the divided body measurement from it. And what is left is a uh, is uh, 11 inches it will be 10 because of the sewing allowance i've added my sewing allowance so this place is on fold it's going to be the the length on fold the length then the width the wideness is going to be my armhole including uh the sewing allowance of uh, one inch to um one and a half inches so that is it for the sleeve and the body so now we are going to the sewing uh, table to see how we are going to sew this uh, uba so um i finished the neckline with bias so i've opened up the boba this is the shoulder blade i've notched this is the right side. This is the sleeve. I'll join it uh, with the sewing allowance. This is how the sleeve is looking. So this is the shoulder blade on the sleeve. So I'm going to match the shoulder blade after joining it to be round so i'm going to match the shoulder blade of the sleeve with the shoulder blade of the body circumference of the boba this way <clears throat> this way I'm going to pin it to make it to stay in place 
I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew it with half inch sewing allowance. I'm going to sew it up to where the joining is. up to here is where the joining is this place I'm not going to climb I hope you can see it I'm not going to climb the joining I'll take it out so this is um, the other shoulder blade I'm going to match it so so it's air this way I'm going to match it to the other side and join I'm going to match it the other way Going to join it to meet the joining of the sleeve again. Going to join it to meet this is where the sleeve is. Um, the joining is. I'm going to join it, but I'm not going to climb the the sleeve uh, joining. Just going to sew it to and stop exactly where the joint starts this way. so this is what i'm saying so this is the sleeve this is the opening you can see this is the opening this is the sleeve i'll join it round Join it round. Join it round. So I'm going to hold the body this way while tucking in the sleeve inside the wrong side. So I'm going to hold the body circumference together this way. Going to hold the body circumference together this way and start joining from where the sleeve is joining to the body. So I'm going to start joining. where the sleeve is joining to the body i will remember not to climb the the sleeve remember not to climb the sleeve so i'm going to stop three and a half before the end of the seam I'm going to stop three and a half inches. So I'm going to do the other side the same way. So I want to show you again. This is the sleeve. So I've joined it. So now this is the round sleeve, the hem of the sleeve. So this is the shoulder blade where the joint is going to join to the body of the booba. So I'm going to take the center of that shoulder blade in the sleeve, on the sleeve, and match it with the shoulder blade on the body of the booba where the pin is. I hope you can see where you can. So I'm going to match it wrong side facing um right side facing right side so this is the blade I'm going to lay it this way and match it this way so this is the center 
and this is the center of the body of the booba this is the sleeve so now i'm going to start sewing so i'm going to attach this the sleeve is round while the body of the booba is straight so i'm going to attach it this way first i'm going to stop where i'm going to stop where i join the sleeve together where i join this one sleeve together i'm going to stop so i'm not going to drag because the material is stretchy so i'm going to sew accordingly so you can see i notch this place there's a notch here i hope you can see so viewers this is the booba i'm done and this is the hero you can see the way it's looking so you can be stylish with the hero i'm going to show you if you want to tie a tulip uh, style how to go about it if you want to tie a tulip tulip i mean so we'll make sure that the edge of the booba are equal then from the end you hold it this way you do the same to the other side then you tie you tie the knot you can tie twice you can tie once then you can decide to take it to the back and tie this is tulip style so whichever style that works for you you can see the way it's looking the way it's looking so i use a touch of stone on the booba so depends on you you can use a touch of anything maybe trimmings it may be rose, it may be petals, whatever you desire, you can use it to decorate it. Or the tulip, the tulip style, you can decide to just leave it in the front to flow. Depends on you. So you can be stylish with it or you can decide to tuck it in on both sides and let it drop on both sides so you can be stylish with however you want it so thank you for watching i appreciate you all see you in my next video so i use this opportunity to thank my subscriber my viewer my friend and well wishes i thank you so much See you in my next video. Click the button, subscribe. Bye for now.